In today's video, we are going to be trying out these Amazon Sublimation bracelets. So if you want to see how they turned out, just keep on. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. My channel is all about crafting on a budget. I do Cricut and Sublimation videos. And soon I will be adding some sewing videos as well as sewing combined with sublimation. So keep your eyes out for that. If you have not already, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the bell notification button to be notified every time I upload. And let's just jump into this video, guys. These are 12 piece sublimation bracelets. I picked the packets that are like half bronze, half silver. You could just do all silver or you could just do all bronze. They are $5.29 currently, originally $10. They're on sale right now. They're 20 millimeter in size. I think that's just referring to like the circle that's right there. They do have a 25 millimeter as well. They're made out of zinc alloy and the glass discs are made out of glass. And then there's aluminum for um, the part that you sub on. We're gonna open these together. I haven't really opened them yet. So, they come with these, they're like, can you see that? They're 3Ds and I believe this is going to go on top after you supplement your image, I guess. I'm not too sure how that's going to work out. Um, then these are the parts that you supplement on. So we have these aluminum parts so that one side is white and one side is is just silver and then there's these maybe these are clear stickers and then there's another baggie that comes in here and you have some silver ones I really like these bronze colored ones so the bracelet looks like this this is where you're gonna put your sublimation and then it has the sides like that and then a chain they're definitely not like it's not like you're getting gold or anything like that like they're not gonna be Super great quality, but they don't feel too cheap. Like they don't feel like you got them at Dollar Tree or something like that. So let me show you a silver one. Silver one obviously looks the same. Um, same concept. Um, the bronze ones kind of have like a... What is that? Like a... You know, when it kind of looks like it's old and rusted, but it's not... Um, it kind of has that look to it, which I think is really pretty. So I will be making three of these. I'll probably make one of each so that we can see um, how those look. So let's get to designing our project. And I'll show you how I did that in the next I screen. started by creating a circle and I sized it to 0 0.8 inches so that I could have a little bit of bleed to work with. I dragged my design into Affinity. I moved the layer of my design underneath the circle and to the right of it to create a clipping mask. I then sized it to fit the circle. I made a second design with these files from Design Bundles. So I have my design all printed out. Make sure they're mirrored once again. We're gonna take three of our aluminum plates Always make sure when you have something like this, make sure that you take off the film or check to see if there is a film. Sometimes there is, sometimes there's not. So always make sure. Um, a trick I've learned is to put some heat tape on it. And that way you have a little more control as to where you're going to place it. just like that and it just makes it like much easier to place it hopefully you saw that and it wasn't like out of um all blurry and stuff out of focus so i'm gonna take another heat tape and i'm gonna do the exact same thing i'm just going to kind of hover it where i want it and once i have it where i want it 
Then I will place the tape down. I think that's good. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the last one. And hover it where you want it just like that and now we're gonna get some butcher paper I just cut a small piece like this and I'm just going to place them when you place them on your heat press always make sure to have the paper facing up so we're just gonna put it like that and then I'm gonna fold over the heat the butcher paper like this and I'm gonna put on my heat press like that so let's move over to the heat press. So I have my butcher paper, the little aluminum things are there. I'm gonna fold it over, but in my heat press, I'm doing 385 degrees for 60 seconds. <coughs> make sure you have enough pressure because these are really flat. So you wanna make sure you have enough pressure so that the heat press is actually pressing on there and that there's no gaps between the heat plate and your substrate. So we're gonna move that over to our work area to see if those press it pressed well. So now I'm going to check these out. They're gonna be a little hot. So I'm gonna take my heat tape. Ooh, that looks good. Wow, these cool down really fast. They're already cool. The colors show up really well. They're really vibrant. Okay, so we're gonna take these. This is what we're gonna use to stick our our um sublimation plates onto the bracelet. I'm just gonna stick it in here. Just like that. And I'm gonna get a weeding tool. So I'm gonna take my weeding tool, I'm gonna lift it up in one part. Try not to bring that other adhesive with it. It's just a little hard. Okay, so I'm gonna take some tape, grab my my thing, put my bracelet here. Okay. Try to set it straight so that I can put this on without it being so crooked. I'm gonna hover over it until I get it how I think I want it and then I'm gonna push down, take off that tape and I can use that for the next one. So now we got our three. Okay, so I was looking into how you're supposed to put these clear domes on top, right? Because it's supposed to be like that, right? So a lot of people said to use E6000, which I do not have. So I might just leave them like this, but this is how it would look. And it's supposed to protect the sublimation plate underneath more. So you can use E6000 or something like that to put it on top, maybe crazy glue, I don't know, something like that to place it on. So they actually turned out really cute. Um, so what I ended up doing is I ended up putting some crazy glue. Um, yeah, I just put some crazy glue and then I placed it on top. Make sure you put enough crazy glue, but not too much where it's gonna be seeping through the sides. But you wanna make sure that it's covered in crazy glue and there's not like little um, spots where it's not because you're gonna be able to see that through the glass. But they turned out really, really cute. I actually really like these. These would be a good like coworker gift or something like that. 
um, like I mentioned before it's not like you're it's gold or anything like that but they are really cute and I do think they make some really cute um, gifts I'm a big sentimental um, gift type person so putting a picture of a loved one would be beautiful there or a picture of you and that person on there would be really cute so this is how the other one turned out they both turned out really really good the colors are really good so I would definitely recommend getting these I think they're really cute and they make a good stocking stuffer um, I'll have them linked down below if you want to check them out they're really affordable and also stay tuned for the next video I'm gonna show you how I made these little pouches where I put the bracelets in them and that's how I'm gonna gift them to the people so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the bell notification button so you're notified every time i upload i love you guys let me know down below in the comments if you guys try these as well let me know what your favorite things are to get on amazon and stay tuned to see how i made these little pouches for the bracelets bye guys